Yeah, another Monday with a lot to go over. I'm Shine Sibley with your Rainbow Roundup. Men's basketball keeps the win streak alive, defeating CSUN on Thursday and coming back from a 19 point first half deficit on Saturday to beat defending Big West champs UC Santa Barbara. Bernardo da Silva led the team on Thursday with a career high of 19 points against the Matadors. And on Saturday night, Junior Madhu led UH with 16 points, 9 rebounds, and 3 assists. The Bows go back on the road for a pair of matches against UC Riverside and UC Davis this week, looking to keep the streak alive. A new era of Hawaii football has officially begun as Timmy Chang was formally introduced last Friday at the Simplify Arena as head coach, addressing his supporters for the first time after accepting the position over a week ago. But before arriving to Oahu, Coach Chang was hard at work announcing his first hires to his coaching staff. On Friday, Coach Chang had this to say. You know, the staff and your players, I mean, that's, that's everything. And so making sure that we pick the right guys to, to be around these, this group of young men, to, you know, developers, guys that are going to be accountable for, for their positions, I think is important. You know, sch schematic wise, you know, we're going to bridge some things together and, and, and try to put together a, a brand of football that we can win games. Women's basketball comes back from California, splitting the weekend between UC Santa Barbara and CSUN. On Thursday, the Bows fell to the Gauchos 65-51. But the Wahine redeemed themselves on Saturday, bringing the momentum back in their favor for a 76-67 win against CSUN. Deja Phillips and Nena Orji both notched their career highs, Phillips with 5 steals and Orji with 13 points. UH now awaits a pair of home games against UC Davis and UC Riverside later this week with tip-off against the Aggies on Thursday at 7 p.m. With four crucial Warriors out due to health and safety reasons, men's volleyball hit a bump on the road, losing to their first match of the season against Ball State in a sweep this past Saturday. They now have their chance at redemption later today in a rematch scheduled for 2 p.m. Hawaii time. Water Polo comes back from their season debut in the Michigan Invitational, taking three wins out of the four matches. On day one, sophomore Laura Luca led the team with six goals to start the year against Michigan and Marist. On day two, the Bows swept Indiana and Salem, with Luca still showcasing her dominant appearance, adding six more goals to the year. The Wahine will now have two weeks to prepare for the Triton Invitational. The campus was on fire this week. Make sure to keep supporting your Bows today for men's volleyball. I'm Shine Sibley with your Rainbow Roundup.